So this is the alarm Pi, which is uh, a set of hardware connected up to a Raspberry Pi inside the case there, uh, that is uh, functioning as my alarm clock. So we've got a seven segment LCD, uh, LCD display, a couple of buttons, a luminosity sensor on the top there. Uh, there is an amplifier just inside there, which is connected up to a couple of speakers on the outside and uh, you can just see a little USB sound card in there as well. So all these are connected together and there is a Python script running on the Pi uh, which takes the inputs and uh, forms into an alarm clock. So that was obviously displaying the time. I've got an information display giving me the current weather and when uh, the alarm clock is set for. There's a rotary encoder on top here I can use to access some menu options, change uh, the volume, the, uh, the station to automatically set the alarm, to manually set the alarm, to put it into holiday mode so uh, the alarm won't go off every day and annoy the neighbours, uh, to play and stop the radio and uh, also to restart the machine. So around the back of the case here we can get a better view of the Raspberry Pi running inside there. It's got a USB sound card attached to the top and uh, down there is the little amplifier you can see the breadboard connection is just slightly hidden by the uh, the cable running out of the GPIO pins on the Pi. Uh, power is provided through these two external sockets here, one uh, the bottom one being the USB connection, the top one being a network connection. I uh, decided to go with a wired connection rather than wireless um, because the Wi-Fi reception in this uh, this room isn't particularly great. So this display is connected up to the uh, I squared C backpack uh, sat on the back there, which I've uh, blogged about elsewhere. This display here is also connected up through I squared C, uh, as is the luminosity sensor at the back here. Now, uh, this luminosity sensor is designed that um, rather than display like it is now, is on full brightness because we're in the middle of the day. Whereas if I cover that up, you'll see it can be a bit hard to see on the video. Uh, but the display has now dimmed down to uh, to a lower brightness, so uh, you don't get dazzled by this at night. There we go. And it brightens back up again once I've uh, uncovered the sensor. There's one extra little thing I've uh, attached on the top there, which is uh, an NFC tag. This is uh, programmed so when I tap my phone on it in the evening, it will uh, register with the lights in my house to say that I've gone to bed and to uh, to turn the lights off. And the alarm will also send a signal in the morning. Once I have uh, cancelled the alarm, it will send a signal to the lights to, uh, to turn them on again. Starting up. Automatic alarm has been set for 5.21 a.m. Manual alarm has been set. afternoon Matt. Today is Friday the 7th of November. The time is 3.40 p.m. The weather is currently light intensity shower or rain. Temperature 10 degrees. Wind to 30 degrees at 13 knots. QNH 994 hectopascals. Automatic alarm has been set for 5.21 a.m.